It's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So when you go to our website, intensivecarehotline.com, and you opt in for our free ebook, or for your free ebook, the Instant Impact Report when you have a loved one in intensive care, we ask you what frustrations you have. And then we get a lot of insights from our clients and prospective clients. And I want to read out another frustration here today so you can actually hear what, what uh, our clients have to say. And also, if you do that, uh, I will read out your frustration here one day and then I'll tell you a question. You know, if you can do that, then the more questions will get answered. So uh, one of our readers writes, I have several frustrations. One was the intensive care team said uh, the numbers need to improve so that she keeps improving. Then all of a sudden we were told and not being asked about taking my mom completely off dialysis. From day one in ICU, we have felt they have written her off, trying to say she was brain dead, which she is not. Please help. Now, before I answer the question, I also want to remind you, if you find my videos valuable, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the like button, click the notification bell, share the video with your friends and families. So you get regular updates for families in intensive care. Okay, so let's address the question. So it is often correct to say that the numbers need to improve that when patients are improving. Now, that's not the only thing that people need to pay attention to, but it is definitely a puzzle when patients are in intensive care and you need to look at numbers that includes vital signs, blood results, chest x-ray results, you know, medications people are on, the dosages of medications. So the numbers are important, which then brings me right away to what I've been saying for the longest, that the biggest challenge for families in intensive care is that they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what to look for. They don't know what questions to ask. They don't know their rights and they don't know how to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care. And that's exactly what we're finding here once again, that you, know, you have a good grasp that something's not right, but in order to put this in much perspective, you know, you need to look at all the critical details, right? You know, you would need me to talk to the doctors and nurses directly. We would need to look at the medical records, you know, to find out exactly what's happening, you know, so we can put things in perspective for you so that you can have this crucial second opinion in time of real need. Now, also, um, they might have taken her off dialysis because the kidneys have recovered or they might have taken her off dialysis because they think it's futile. Futile means of utility means of no perceived benefit to a patient, right? But that's a perception. You probably have a very different perception, okay? That's why it's critical to get a second opinion. That's why it's critical to have an advocate like myself uh, to talk to the doctors and nurses directly to find out what's exactly happening. Is it ethical what they're doing? Next. They're trying to say she was brain dead. Well, it's one thing to say someone is brain dead. I mean, the number of time we, the number of times we have exposed that intensive care teams tell families that their loved one is brain dead, and when we then talk to them or look at medical records, it's often nonsense and it's a scare tactic so that intensive care teams can get what they want. There is a big difference between someone being brain dead and someone being brain damaged. Big big difference, no correlation to the two, right? When someone is brain dead or considered to be brain dead, there are two people that need to do the testing. So it's not as simple as someone just saying, oh, your loved one is brain dead. There needs to be clear evidence for it, okay? So, and especially if you felt like they've quote unquote written your mom off from day one, that is of course very sad to hear you know, it's not a novelty for us because we're dealing with this every single day, but we can also help you to turn this situation around like we've done for many of our clients, turning situations around, making sure uh, our clients get best care and treatment in intensive care with our consulting advocacy, by giving you a second opinion, by giving you all the behinds, behind the scenes insights and secrets so that you know how to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and get better outcomes. Now, 
If you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website, or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. There you have access to me and my team 24 hours a day in a membership area and via email. And we answer all questions, intensive care and intensive care at home related. I also offer one on one consulting and advocacy over the phone by Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp, whichever medium works best for you. I represent you in family meetings with intensive care teams. I talk to doctors and nurses directly in intensive care. To answer all the, uh, to ask all the questions you haven't even considered asking, but that are absolutely crucial to get peace of mind, control, power, and influence while you have a loved one in intensive care, so that you can make informed decisions. We also do medical record reviews in real time, so that you can have a second opinion in real time. We also offer medical record reviews after intensive care if you have unanswered questions, if you uh, need closure, or if you are simply suspecting medical negligence. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the like button, click the notification bell, share the video with your friends and families and comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care for now.